Hey everybody, it's Sander here, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can restore your Wooting keyboard. And this actually applies for all the Wooting keyboards out there on the market. Alright, let's get started. So in order to restore your Wooting keyboard, you have to navigate to wootility.io in your browser, or you will have to download the Wootility app and restore in there. So once you're in Wootility, go to the left side of your screen and click on the help button. Then click on the button that mentions your keyboard. So in my case, it is the ATHE, so I will click on the ATHE. And then select the layout of your device. In my case, it is NC, but of course, if you have ISO or GIS, you just click on either one of those. And then if you scroll down, you can actually see that we have to disconnect your keyboard and hold the top right and bottom right keys and then replug it into your computer. Okay, so we plug it out, hold the top right button, and the bottom right button and for all the wooting keyboards out there it's always the top right and bottom right button on your keyboard to restore your keyboard so simple enough so then you plug in your keyboard again like so and as you can see the buttons top right and the bottom right are now glowing blue which will mean that we're actually in wooting restore mode but only the ATHG will have the blue light shining. All the other previous keyboards we have released, like the 60HG, don't have this. In Wootility itself, we can actually click now on the reset device button. So we do this, and then you can actually see the progress bar of the firmware flashing to the device. Now it flashes a bit, and then voila! Your keyboard has been successfully restored. And if you go now in Wutility, you can actually see we are ready to roll again. But of course, we know nothing always goes 100% right. So let's say your restore mode doesn't go correctly. And it's just a matter of following this process again and trying to restore it for a second time to see if that actually works. And that's pretty much it for restoring your wooden keyboard. I know some of you guys might still experience a couple of problems here and there even after restoring. And if that's the case, then make sure to reach out to our customer service over at wooting.io slash support. And we'll be sure to help you out. That's all. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.